Hey everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Sorry, let me straighten all that up a bit. It's got a bit, there we go. <laughs> um, well, as you can see, I have moved the boat again because I got turned to Cosgrove and I wasn't, I didn't really want to move from there because I thought, oh, this is going to be lovely. It's near the river and the, you know, the aqueduct and stuff. <sighs> so many people down there. It's unbelievable. It's so busy. Especially on like Saturday and Sunday when we held that nice weather and I must have hundreds hundreds of people passing through there. I'm like What part of lockdown don't you people understand? So and then one of my cats got attacked by an unleashed dog um, So there's dogs roaming around everywhere as well. And I'm like This is really shitty. It's really pissing me off. So I've moved the boat. I thought stuff this I'm gonna go back to where I came from so I did several big trips of grocery shopping at Tesco and Little uh, with my bike and trolley and stuff. Uh, and I've now set myself up. Literally, my original mooring was about 200 meters around, <laughs> around the corner. So the great thing about being a continuous cruiser at the moment is the fact that you, I am allowed to go down to Cosgrove to get groceries or water or whatever I need and then come back again. I can come back to the same area, but it doesn't mean I have to be on exactly the same spot. So that means at least my view changes. So this is my current view. Uh, and that village obviously in the background is Grafton Regis, uh, which has history dating back to Edward the fourth. What's that around the 13th century? <laughs> um, in fact, this whole area was once a royal hunting ground. The whole area we're in now, it's back in the, like, the, uh, the 13th or the 12th century. So there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my view, it's lovely. You know, a um, little bit of a change to the last view I had. Uh, but there's you know, lots of boats here, moored here. So there's a few liverboards um, who have come up here, have the same idea. Because it is, it's just incredibly busy down there. And I just like, well, yeah, I need to stay isolated, particularly as the, the statistics seem to be getting worse, not better. So, yeah, okay. Um, which leads me to my next point, which is, um, you know, my partner. So we've now been separated for, what, five weeks? I think the maximum we've been separated is six weeks. Um, but it's just not, you know, lockdown is lockdown. We're trying to, we're just playing it week by week at the moment. I've unfortunately come up with a little bit of a problem. I've been sleeping on several pieces of foam. If you've seen my Twitter or um, been on my Facebook group recently, you would have seen pictures of what I've been sleeping on or surviving on for the past year. Uh, and my back has started to get ex really sore, like extremely sore. Um, so I need to fix that. So I've got a bed that's been delivered, metri uh, memory foam mattress. It's at my partner's house waiting for delivery, but we're just... <sighs> to me, that's essential enough to enable him to travel up, to give me a bed so I can have a decent night's sleep. Um, we are trying to work out if he can come up and just work, be able to you know, stay here permanently and work. But the problem with that is, days like yesterday and today, you know, it's pouring with rain yesterday, it's not really a work environment. <laughs> I mean, he can, I can set him up with his laptop and he's got a standing desk and stuff like that so he can work, providing the weather's nice, but the weather just hasn't been nice. Uh, so my concern is, well, yes, I need a bed, but if he comes up, he's kind of got to stay up here, but it's not really the kind of environment that's going to be suitable longer term, I think. Anyway. Uh... So, you know, him coming up is not really essential travel other than to give me a new bed so I can start looking after my posture. Because if this lockdown continues for the next three months, uh, yeah, I won't be able to sleep on that mattress, on those, not even a mattress, piece of foam. Uh, yeah, I really have to do it. Because I've started taking painkillers for my, uh, for my back. Um, so that's not a good sign. I've never really had to do that before. So, um, yeah. Not good. Not at my age. <laughs> um, 
So we're just trying to, yeah, work it out. We, don't, we just don't know how long this lockdown's going to go on for. Like I said, if it's going to go on for months, well, yeah, we're going to have to make some arrangements for him to come up. He's literally an hour's drive away. Um, but we just don't want to push the envelope. I mean, it's bad enough, you know, me traveling around just to get water and, and groceries and stuff, you know. But anyway, so it would be nice. Um, like I said, we have experienced this before. It's not the first time we've been separated for long periods, but um, it will have, it will get to me eventually. It's getting to me now. That's probably why I haven't posted because I haven't been really feeling myself. Um, it's you know it's funny like I am a continuous cruiser, so not being able to move is a big thing for me. Like I've been travelling for a year, and now all of a sudden I can't. I mean I love the fact that I can at least move my boat to go and get groceries or water or whatever. You know at least a little bit of a cruise but it's not really a cruise it's it's just an essential cruise to go down and do what I need to do and then back again uh, so I'm really frustrated as well as 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 the next person is you know as people sitting at home waiting to get to their boat to go cruising I'm the same I can't go cruising I can't go traveling I'm on lockdown as well I can only move my boat for essential services so, it's a bit of a piss at the moment, it really is. Um, <clears throat> so, we're just going to sort of play it by ear, I guess, and see how we go. But at least I've got a change of view, which is really, really lovely. Lovely rolling hills and sheep and lambs, and <laughs> it's lovely to hear the lambs. And of course, being spring, it's starting to flower. Everything's beginning to flower and get a lot greener again. It's lovely. You know, it's a lovely time of year in England. So... It's going to make the most of it, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for a walk now, just along the canal. Um, and just... Yeah, I was going to walk now, actually. <laughs> there you go, it is. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, yeah, I was going to go to the shops. I'm actually going to get my bag, so I'll catch you all later. <laughs>